The Grim Reaper is a spiritual being that we always associate with death. But to be more precise, the Grim Reaper isn't the bringer of death himself. He rather acts as the guide for the souls of the recently deceased, ushering them to the afterlife. Many cultures all around the world believe that this supernatural being exists, but the question is, do you? Many people have claimed to have caught this entity on camera. Some of them are obvious hoaxes, but others, well, they're gonna make you think twice. Especially number one on this list, so stay tuned for that. Here are the top 15 Grim Reapers caught on camera. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Our first one is the Reaper Drone. Okay, let's get the obvious fakes first before we move on to the more compelling video footage. So what you're looking at right now is what someone is claiming to be the Grim Reaper caught flying high in the skies above Broomfield, Colorado. The uploader even claimed that this flying monstrosity isn't a kite. Well, something is definitely high here on this video, and it's probably the uploader. He's right about one thing, though. I'm pretty sure that isn't a kite. More than likely, it's a drone dressed like the Grim Reaper. At least the uploader had the good sense to disable comments on this video. If he didn't, well, let's just say a few mean comments would be the least of his worries. Our next entry is the Grim Reaper with a message. From a complete fakery, let's move on to something that is also a complete fakery, but with a noble twist. In this clip, we can see someone clearly wearing a Grim Reaper costume roaming the beaches of Florida, and even giving interviews to the local news people. The guy under the hood is lawyer Daniel O'Felder. You see, the governor of Florida has recently announced the reopening of Florida beaches. That is despite the continuous rise of COVID-19 cases in the state. Daniel is dressing up like death himself to alert all Floridians of the dangers of going to the beach or the unrestricted opening of businesses in general at this particular time. Our next entry is Out in the Woods. This photo has been circulating the internet for a while now, mainly in lists of the weirdest or scariest things caught on trail cameras. I gotta admit, the Green Reaper on this photo does look pretty creepy, scythe and all. The thing is, I find it extremely hard to believe in photos as clear as this. You know what I think? It's probably just someone trying to prank the owner of the trail cam. The simplest explanation is always the best in my opinion. Our next entry is the Taker of Souls. Remember I said earlier that some people believe that it's the Grim Reaper's job to guide the souls of the dead to the afterlife? Well, in this short clip, it seems that instead of guiding souls, the Reaper literally drags your soul from out of your body. There isn't a clear backstory for this clip, but all that have uploaded this believe that it was taken from a hospital somewhere in Asia. The clip shows a shadowy cloaked figure appear near a hospital bed where what I assume to be a patient is lying. Then it appears that the figure dragged the patient's soul out of the body before disappearing into the darkness. That is pretty creepy, but whether it's real or not, I'm gonna leave up to you guys. Our next entry is The Light Wanderer. A local cemetery in Albuquerque, New Mexico has become the haunting grounds for a mysterious man dressed like the Grim Reaper. The man first showed up at the San Jose del El Rosario Cemetery wearing a black cloak over a white dress. His face was covered and he occasionally carried a bouquet of flowers that looked as if they'd been plucked from a nearby field. It suddenly disappeared, only to reappear again a few days after. News teams were ready for this though, and the man in black even gave an interview. The mysterious man says his name is the Light Wanderer, and that he comes to the cemetery to pray. He speaks in riddles, and in all honesty, he sounds like a complete weirdo. At least he's not digging up the graves or anything, so whatever makes him happy, I guess. Our next entry is the TAPS footage. TAPS is the paranormal investigation team by the hit show Ghost Hunters. The footage you're about to see was taken from one of their investigations. In one of their episodes, they were called to investigate the Eastern State Penitentiary, a now disused and dilapidated prison that has the reputation of being extremely haunted. While in the prison, the TAPS team set up a camera in one of these second floor cell blocks when they captured a cloaked figure creeping on the aisle towards the camera before going back to where it came from. The hooded figure does look like the Grim Reaper, but there is a caveat here. The TAPS team have been known to fake paranormal evidence for the sake of their TV show, so there's definitely a 50-50 chance that this thing is fake. Our next entry is Instantaneous Reaping. This next footage should serve as a lesson on how to ride your bike properly, especially on a busy highway. Needless to say, the footage is very graphic, but I have cut out all the graphic stuff for you, so you're all welcome. The footage starts with a couple of people riding their bikes, squeezing themselves into the narrow pathway between the sidewalk and a huge container truck. To keep it short, one of them was met with a horrible accident, but I don't want you to focus at that. 
Look at the red arrow near the rear wheels of the truck. Do you see some sort of specter? Some people believe that it's the Grim Reaper taking the soul of the person involved in the accident. If so, death acts extremely fast. Our next entry is Death is Watching Over You. F1 fans Craig Nugent and Daniel Dowling had the time of their lives watching the Grand Prix in Dubai and were on their way back to the hotel riding a pretty empty bus. Craig, tired from the excitement of the race, quickly fell asleep on the bus. Daniel, seeing the awkward and funny sleeping position Craig was in, took a quick photo, only to be horrified at what he saw. On the bus window loomed a figure cloaked in black with what looked to be like a skull-like face. It couldn't have been Daniel's reflection as you can see it clearly behind the camera flash, and they insisted that it was just the two of them on the bus. Could the Grim Reaper be watching over Craig as he slept? Our next entry is Death Road. The next clip comes from the YouTube channel Vision Paranormal. Too bad the entire channel is in Spanish because their videos look amazing, I just don't understand them. If you do understand Spanish or into the paranormal, I suggest you go check their channel out. Give them a little love from us. According to the description, the video was submitted by one of their subscribers. It shows the man driving along a road when he saw something that made him stop. Just in front of him stood a cloaked figure that kind of looks like a monk. The subscriber further stated that the road where he took the video was notorious for horrible accidents. Some people say that the robed figure is actually the Grim Reaper and has been the one causing all the accidents in the area. Our next entry is Mist of the Grim Reaper. Dean Johnson is a different kind of ghost hunter. Yes, he goes to spooky places and takes a lot of photos, not to prove the existence of ghosts, but rather to disprove them. This lifelong cynic was, as usual, taking hundreds of photos while in Northamptonshire's Weed and Beck Cemetery, which was reported to be haunted. Of the hundreds of photos that he took, one made him look twice. On the photo, he caught something resembling mist, which took the form of a man wearing a cloak. Others say he caught a photo of the Grim Reaper, while Dean himself thinks it looks more like a monk. Whatever it is, it made this non-believer think twice about his own beliefs. Our next entry is Ghost Employee. Here's another one from Vision Paranormal. According to them, this video was taken from CCTV cameras of an old government building in Mexico City. Security guards always say they feel like they're being watched in this building, and several employees have also reported unexplained phenomenon. This black road figure could be the cause of all the paranormal activity in the building. Could this be a ghost or a manifestation of the good old Reaper himself? Our next entry is... I'm waiting. Sharon Cole was with her dad on his deathbed at a hospice near Doncaster, Yorks before he died from bowel cancer. She knew that death was an eventuality and was prepared for it. While in the hospice waiting for the inevitable, she saw something that scared her at first, but gave her peace at the end. Amazingly, she was able to photograph what she saw. She left her dad for a few minutes to go to the restroom. When she came out, something caught her eye in the hallway. She quickly snapped this photo, and if you look closely on the wheelchair to the left, you can see what looks like a crow or a raven perched there. Then further down the hallway to the right, you can see a hooded figure that seems to be reading a book. This could possibly be the Grim Reaper waiting to usher Sharon's dad to the afterlife. Our next entry is Hiding in the Bushes. You have probably seen this photo before as it's been all over the internet for the past decade or so. The story goes that a couple of friends were on a road trip when they decided to stop by the Grand Canyon. One of them stood close to the cliff edge while the other took this photo. When the photo was developed, yes, this happened before digital cameras were a thing, a terrifying hooded figure can be seen hiding in the bushes behind the man. Some say it's just another tourist trying to photobomb the other guy, but why would he wear a black cloak with a hood? Now it's time for the day's best pick. Now seeing the Grim Reaper on the beach is definitely weird, but it does happen, as we've established earlier on this list, but this one isn't a lawyer under the hood, if the story is to be believed. Find out more next with A Grim Day at the Beach. If there's something that you definitely don't want while you're out on a day of fun at the beach, it's definitely some guy wearing a black hooded robe carrying what looks like the handle of a scythe. But that's exactly what Martin Woodward saw while he was out with his kids walking on a beach in Southport Merseyside in the UK. Martin said he saw the dark figure from a distance and he immediately spooked his kids. As it approached, he took a photo and posted it on Twitter. Others have suggested that it might just be a man doing some metal detecting on the sand. That doesn't explain the attire, though. 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our last entry is Grim Reaper on the Road. I have saved the scariest for last. Again, the video is a bit graphic, so I blurred out the graphic parts for you. No need to thank me. What you need to know is that this is CCTV footage of a motorcycle accident. Immediately after the accident, an eerie cloaked and hooded individual can be seen walking into frame. He doesn't stop to look at what happened, which I find quite odd. If it was in the same situation with most other people, I believe they would have looked to see what was happening. Due to his appearance and odd behavior, many believe that he isn't human at all, but the Grim Reaver himself, walking past to reap the soul of the man who just had a horrific accident. Do you have any Grim Reaper related stories? Let us know down in the comments below. Also, feel free to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!